Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 17, Queen Anne's Revenge. Free play for Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I know this is the this is the home stretch. This is what we've all been waiting for. We're getting pretty close to that 100% completion. And uh, we're going to take you there by getting you the 8 compasses and 10 mini kits for this level. Now before we get started, let's make sure that you've completed the story mode all the way through. That'll get you the first two rows of characters and uh, probably enough money to also pick up Blackbeard as well. We're going to need him along the way. And so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and pick off Queen Anne's Revenge and get to getting on. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So uh, if you're new to the series or uh, maybe you forgot. We do have fast forward quick links down below in our video description here. If you're not on YouTube, I suggest you click the view video on YouTube button. It'll take you to where all those are and you can just scroll through mini kit to mini kit or compass item to compass item or whichever you need. And uh, meanwhile, we'll just kind of talk you through the rest of it and uh, have a good time. So hopefully you've been enjoying this series. If you, Like I said, if you just found us, uh, you know, hopefully you'll find it helpful and then uh, you'll You'll have lots of LEGO games to follow for future play, because uh, we're LEGO fanatics over here. And as we use our compass in the first area and find that first compass item, we will go ahead and uh, make our way to the next one. So knock out the first couple of items by using your compass. And this thing just takes you all over the place. Wee! Left, right, left, right. Back through here, zigzag. All right, we will wobble all the way to the box of bombs. Bomb, 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 bomb. All right, there's silver stuff all over the ceiling here, and we're going to make sure that we uh, destroy it. we got a couple guys we got to free that are taking their sweet little naps over here. looks like we'll go ahead and rudely awake him. Hey, what's up, buddy? We're going to have to get him the egg, the uncooked egg. The guy inside the jail wants the egg, and this guy right here, he wants music. He wants nothing but to rock and roll. Ah... Wanna rock and roll all night and pirate every day. That's right. Got a pirate. Get our pirate on. All right. So here we go. Mini kit number one. We're gonna use a strong man. Look at that. We're con conveniently using the butt rocker from our toggle there. Same guy that needs the music. And we'll pull that orange handle in the back corner, which I'm sure you saw in story, and grab mini kit number one. Now off to the far right, right side of the room. There is a door being blocked with a Blackbeard mask. Go ahead and use Blackbeard to destroy that. And don't worry about this silver item I'm taking out. This is just extra studage is all that is. And uh, make your way into the room. And there's a couple of things here. Now, first off, there is a silver steel cage on the ground. And it looks like something you'd shoot with a gun. So I pull out a gun and shoot at it. But in the middle, it almost looks like glass. So I take Philip and I'm like, ah! trying to sing and that doesn't do nothing so I pull out Jacoby with some bombs and that doesn't do nothing and then I think I pull out Marty here next right wait wait for it here comes Marty right yeah. um, well, let me save you some time see that little crank wheel right next to us missing the wheel well we need the wheel which is up top it happens to be uh, right upstairs it's the next compass item that we find right there in the skeleton's hand give it up Skeletor that's mine and now we can go ahead and grab the wheel and by the powers of Grayskull. Oh, no, we're not there yet. All right. So off in the back corner, we have a, uh, a glass sand castle that we're going to destroy with Phillips. Wonderful singing voice. You can use Serena as well. And grab the mini kit when done. And now you can kind of make your way around. We're going to get some extra studage. You know, being the stud whore that I am, I got to get as many studs as I can. By the end, I think I have like 14 billion, I think was the final total count. Um, here we go. We got our wheel. By the powers of Grayskull. We're going to take it down and put it on and spend a win. Big bucks, no whammies. Look at that. Easy peasy. Pulls it down, not up, and gives us access to the mini kit. So there's the third one. This is going nice and smoothly, eh? And we'll make our way back. We can see that uh, so Buddy needs the tunes, other Buddy needs the fried egg, and other Buddy needs the egg. So here's the egg. That was the first compass point we found in the kind of the back middle area of where we started. We'll make our way over, and he'll shake it up, smack it down, flip it, rub it down. Oh, no. And he'll throw the egg on the floor. I don't know why he does that. It's disgusting. Who wants to eat an egg off the floor? And that was pretty close on the five-second rule, too. If you go back and watch it, it's literally like, I don't know. It's high three, early four. It's gonna, time is a ticking. 
All right, pull the door down with a strong character. And to be honest with you, I don't think you even need to do this in free play. If you've got Blackbeard and you've already gone upstairs, I don't think you need to do any of this stuff. Uh, but I completed it anyways because I wasn't sure. So we'll come over here. Uh, Scrum is the guy that you want to use in order to play the tunes. He's the guy that has the guitar by default. The guitar. And boom, 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 boom. Look at him rocking out, too. I love it. And uh, he'll play the music, but he'll join on board. And But, yeah, see, there's not even icons up on the top of the screen saying that we have to get these characters. So I believe you can just go upstairs. You don't have to blow the dino by and build this up. But, you know, better to be safe than sorry for the video. So we did it the hard way. Now, upstairs, uh, I went to go try to pull the shutters down at first. And I realized, wait a minute, these have silver locks preventing them from uh, being pulled down. So blast the locks. The locks will drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right. There you go. One last one. And boy, these guys are annoying. I, as you've noticed, I have the invincibility cheat with uh, extra hearts on. And uh, so they're just annoying. They don't, they don't hurt me. They're just annoying. They just hurt. Yeah, Jacoby, I don't think you're going to be able to use your bombs. But we can go ahead and grab some flame from the right side. And yeah, we don't need that barrel either. Nowhere needing to go. So yeah, grab a torch and grab a barrel. And we had the wrong barrel is what we did. And now, now that once we're inside, go ahead and use a strong character. We're gonna use Blackbeard because we're gonna have to use him again in just one hot second here. So use the barrel and roll it in there. Once you roll it all the way in, the skeleton will drop with the rest of the fuse completing the trail there. And now off to the far left beyond the dynamite you'll see a black beard mask, destroy it. And then inside there is two big cannons. Ah, I thought you needed flame because most of the cannons you need a torch for. So I go run over here and I grab a torch. But truth be told, you just need a strong character to pull the cannon back. So black beard will work just fine. If you feel like switching to somebody else, you have a favorite pirate you want to use, go ahead and do it. In fact, if you have a favorite pirate that you like pulling things with, <laughs> Feel free to drop a comment down below. Schnarf, schnarf. That didn't really sound all that appropriate. But once you pull both cannons, giggity, it'll drop a uh, mini kit for you. And we can head on back over to the torch uh, or the dynamite. Light it. And boom, 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 boom. That's quite the explosion. Uh, and make your way up to the final deck over here on the poop deck. We're going to pull out our compass and then get annoyed so we're gonna pull out on that so we'll, we'll, we'll come back to the compass items there's these giant lanterns I'm not quite sure what's going on I, I never saw the final movie so I'm probably missing something from it but essentially you have to knock these back lanterns down and then you use part of the pieces to build the rest of this pulley system and then the other parts of the pieces go to rebuilding these lanterns but they're kind of like halfy lanterns I don't know halfy you don't count you don't have any legs South Park reference. All right, so drop down below here, and there is actually, as you can see, there is for sure a mini kit there. I get stuck with Blackbeard, and it's really frustrating. So I jump back up to the other character, but then I drop right back down because there is a compass item, which is also a mini kit. So it's a double whammy, a two for one, a hoorah! All right, so now that once you get that, you can climb all the way back to the top. Look at that, we have 470 million studs, and we're not even really going after everything. Like, we've definitely taking some time to get a few studs, but not them all. All right, so there's the barrel. Pretty easy compass find right there. And now for the next mini kit. There are four cannons that are, like, actively seeking you and shooting at you. Next to each of the cannons is a skeleton. Actually, there's a couple skeletons scattered as well beyond those. But each one of them has a skeleton nearby that you can destroy, pull the head off, and shove it in the hole. That's right. Put the ball in the hole. Let's see what happens big bada boom all right so this one's a little trickier the the skeleton is not right next to it even though it is it's not directly next to it like the other one was pull the head off and cram it in there cram that head in that hole and make it blow booyah ka <laughs> all right i'm getting a little off the beaten path god beaten beaten path all right anyways here we go we're gonna pull all the way back to our other character and uh this time we're gonna use your character of choice to forge these hot bricks and once we uh, forge the hot bricks, we're going to destroy the black box with Blackbeard's special power. So there we go. We used Towelhead Buddy there. Not sure what his name is. He's got a nice wrap, though. 
And yeah, there's the box. We'll go ahead and use it and pull it apart and booyah. There we go, number seven. All right, so we're kind of, uh, we're definitely over the halfway point. There's a couple more items here. We, so we got Blackbeard over here on the right. He kind of, uh, he kind of pushes you back with his superpower. But if you get behind him, which is easy to do, you just get up on the mast and make your way all the way over. You have to uh, use a character with a sword to open the geyser and then float up. And then you got to shoot the target and then jump your way all the way over. But essentially, we're going to make our way over there and get behind him. There's a couple of items. There's actually a room right below him, and there's a room right behind him. You didn't know he was a hoarder, did you? He's got a couple of rooms stashed full of goodies. And so you're going to want to make sure that you shoot the item and drop all the pieces down below. And we're going to jump up to the middle mast here as well. And we take a quick chance at trying to get this, uh, not only the compass item, but the mini kit up here too. We try to switch to a female character, and uh, it doesn't work out for us. We can high jump, but not jump. We can't jump high enough. And you can try it. You, and who knows? Maybe there is the proper angle that you can get to. There's definitely been a few moments where I had to jump high and I couldn't get there at first couple tries. So I didn't want to waste too much time. But back in the far corner, smash that skeleton and grab the wheel, which is not a compass item, I don't believe. It's not labeled, so it shouldn't be. And then before spinning the wheel and making a big deal with Philip all up there and everything, use Serena or Philip to go ahead and uh, break the glass and then use Jack to pull yourself all the way up and then switch to a female character to use the old hippie hop. I still don't understand. It's still a mystery to me why that uh, looks like a Woodstock convention. But regardless, use the zip line, get all the way over there and grab that mini kit. And then I would zip line right back down and this time use your compass to find the big old firework on the back side of the boat. It's literally right there right below from where you drop down from the zip line. And, yeah, that's a cool little skull and crossbone wall piece. Be nice to have one of those for my bedroom. But uh, you build that up, you get the torch, pull it down, and you launch the fireworks. And it, it's raining studs. Hallelujah, it's raining studs. All right, so now there is a room back here, but we're not there yet. You do need to switch to Blackbeard, and you need to advance a little bit closer to him. But there's a compass item right here, and it's inside the room. So drop down right behind Blackbeard, pull the handle with Blackbeard, and then make your way inside the room. As soon as you get in the room, switch to Jack, and we're going to look for this giant gold mask that's back in the corner. And there you go. Booyaka shaw. Now feel free to put it on. We're going to refrain from doing so. We don't like wearing those big masks when at all possible. And over on the left-hand side of this room, there are some. there's a little climbing space climb on the back wall and follow it all the way up and knock all the bricks down that are up there. Ding dong, ping dong, ping dong, ping. All right, once they're all down there, build them up. You don't have to use Blackbeard to build them, but it sure looks cool when you do. And, uh, and then push that all the way down. I had some depth perception problems as per usual. And once it's into place, it opens up the first lock and then use Blackbeard's special power to open up the second lock and then the doors will open. Oh, all right. All right, so we got, uh, look at that globe. I used to have one of those when I was a kid. My family had one. It literally had the same stand. I used to spin it around and, like, put my finger there, like, gently, and I'd be like, all right, where are we going to go next? It was like the game, and, like, you know, I always had my favorite place I wanted to go. It happened to be Australia, so shout out to Australia. I'm not sure why. I think one of my, my best friends uh, in fifth grade actually left Australia, and I think that had something to do with it, but... Uh, and, and, you know, still to this day, haven't made it there, so uh, maybe someday. But as soon as you uh, come out of that room from behind Blackbeard, drop down right in front of him and sneak into the little room right below him. Then again, pull out your compass. It'll lead you right to this box, which then has a red ruby in it. We're going to use that red ruby here in a second. There's a music box right to our right right now, which we need. And I'm trying to, like, use Blackbeard's power to open it, but it knows better. It ain't, it ain't fooled. It needs the red ruby and the music. But then the thing is, the music box doesn't seem to work, or it only works well when accompanied by some, some screaming. So use Philip to go ahead and sing. And ready? I'm like, spin it. No, no, spin it. What do, what do I do? Uh, nope, you got to use Philip. It needs music. So I guess you could use Scrum, too, and his guitar. That, that would probably be a, a good assumption and you know you might even try Serena Serena might do the trick as well she's kind of got a horrendous voice 
I wouldn't call it a top 40s hit voice by any means. But, hey, in the pirate days, a mermaid. Hey, a mermaid, you know. But, uh, so, actually, that concludes all of the collectibles for this level. So, if, uh, if that's what you're here for, you are done. Feel free to move on to level 18 or, or whichever level you need next. And uh, thanks for tuning in. If you want to finish the level with us, we're going to go ahead and do it. Just like in the story mode, I tell you what, you know, some things I just don't quite grasp the concept of. So I, I for whatever reason, remember in the story mode that I had to spin him around a bunch of times. So I'm like spinning him around waiting for something to happen. And of course, nothing happens. And, and then it starts hitting me. Okay, yeah, I do remember. I did have to like cut the ropes off of him. But it was weird. It was like a funny angle. Like it had to be the right spot or something. And, and so I'm like thinking, okay, what's this? Does that have something to do with it? No. Uh, so you guys spin him all the way around, get him to the very bottom, and then destroy uh, right there on the side there. Oh, yeah. Come on, get it. Right in the front. Swing. Cha-cha, cha-cha, get it. Oh, finally. Then once you get uh, once you get that all handled, basically that's pretty much it. So uh, that'll take us into the total screen where we prove to you that we got all ten of the mini kits and all eight of the compass items. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I wouldn't mind hearing from you down in the comments down below. We're heading on over to Facebook. That nice thumbs up, the like button, sure does wonders for our egos around here. So feel free to head on over there. And hey, you know, a subscribe to the YouTube channel really makes our day. So uh, that'll wrap up Lego Pirates of the Caribbean Level 17, Queen Anne's Revenge Free Play. Head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. If you guys have any comments or suggestions for us, or even a request, feel free to, uh, you know, drop it on over there. Facebook's probably the, the best place that we recommend because that's where we do our contests. That's where we do all of our social media posts. That's where we keep you in the now with all the other game information and stuff we get. So, uh, yeah, head on over there. HappyThumbsGaming.com has a lot of information as well. Product reviews, game reviews, all of our videos as well. Um, and there's a picture of Doug in a Speedo. No, I'm just kidding. There's not. But it made you want to go there for a second, didn't it? <laughs> all right, ladies and gents, you know the drill. As always, until next time. See ya.